So the horse was the favorite of the old man because it used to pull his cart too. He gave better food and attention to the horse. Jo horse tha, he was the favorite. So usko khana bhi achcha milta tha. Usko attention bhi bhoat milti thi. Or donkey ko, he was not so precious. He never complained and quietly ate the straw instead of corn and hay. Or got good food. He got straw to eat. Or horse ko kya milta tha? Corn and hay. See. And this is the donkey. Both of them used to carry burden for the old man. Both of them carried stones to the market. But the donkey always carried the heavier load. Zada load kisko milta tha? Donkey ko. Horse ko kam milta tha because horse was the favorite. So donkey always got the more load. Zada stones usko uthane patte the. Horse ko nahi uthane patte the. As the time passed, the horse grew more healthy and strong. And the donkey became thin and weak. He was because he used to carry the burden every day, more burden, more stones, and he did not get good food. He started becoming weak, and the horse became very strong. Once the animals were going to the market, the horse was carrying only a few stones, and the donkey was carrying heavy loads. Horse ko kya mila? Thode se stones. Or donkey ko kya mila? Bohat zada burden. So the donkey was carrying a lot of stones and the horse was carrying very few. The donkey started feeling weak. He stopped and said to the horse, I'm not feeling well. I can't move ahead. So jab tum thak jate ho, kya bolte ho mama ko? Kim thak gaye, hum nahi aage chal sakte. So he also said, I am not feeling well. I cannot move ahead. Usne horse ko bola, meri help kar de, please. I am tired. I cannot pick up more stones. But the horse refused to help. The donkey continued, why don't you share some of my load? The horse considered himself superior. Horse ko laga, main to bhoat badi cheez hoon, main to old man ka favorite hoon, main iske kiyo help karu? Usne mana kar diya. He said, I am not going to help you. Apna weight khud utha ke leke jau. I cannot help you. Our master has ordered you to carry the heavy load. Horse ne bola ki old man ne tujhe bola hai weight uthane ko. Tu utha, main kiyo teri help karu? Main to nahi help karun ga. The horse ne usko mana kar diya. And the donkey was feeling very weak. Can you see him? He was feeling very weak. He felt as if he will fall down. The miserable donkey slipped and the sloping road. Usne itna weight uthaya hua tha ki usse chala hi nahi gya. Wo thoda sa chala, he started feeling weak. Usne, he asked the donk horse to help him. The horse did not help him. Horse ne bhi help nahi kiya. To thodi der baad kya hua? He felt so weak that he fell down on the road. Usne bohat bola, meri help kar do, meri help kar do. Kisi ne help nahi ki. Aur wo bichara gir gaya. He shouted, please help me, please help me. Otherwise I will die. The horse looked at him and replied, Try, try, I'm sure you can manage. Usne horse ko bohat bola, Please help me. Please, otherwise I will die. Mere paas bohat weight hai. Please help me. Horse ne bola, No, I'm not going to help you. Please try. Apne aap tum. I am sure. The donkey was not able to control. He fell down on the ground. The master saw him and came running from hell. Then the old man saw 
came for the help. Poor animal died. And the master said, he served me well for so many years. His load must have been very heavy. So the donkey fell down and he died. Old man ne dekha and the old man felt very bad. He said, Is bichare ne mera kitne deer meri seva ki hai? He's done so much of work for me, but now he fell down and he has died. The master turned towards the horse and said, Come here, it's your turn to serve me. Now carry your companion's load too. उसने क्या बोला उसको कि इधर आओ इधर आके अपना भी लोड उठाओ और वो डोंकी का भी लोड उठाओ दोनों का उठाओ नाउ इट इज योर टर्न टू हेल्प मी द मास्टर पुट द डोंकी इज बर्डन ऑन द हॉर्स इज बैक द हॉर्स रिपेंटेड एंड थॉट आई शुड हैव हेल्प द डोंकी व्हेन ही वाज अलाइव उसने सारा का सारा लोड हॉर्स के ऊपर रख दिया उसने हॉर्स को बोला Now you have to help me. It is your turn to save me. Apna bhi load uthao aur donkey ka bhi load uthao. And the horse felt very bad. He said, "Agar main pehle help kar deta uski, to aaj he would have been alive. Or mujhe itna weight nahi uthana padta." The horse continued to think, but now I can also collapse under double the weight. But it was too load late, and the horse had to carry. Both the burdens. अब उसको अपना बर्डन भी उठाना पड़ा और डोंकी का भी उठाना पड़ा सो यू शुड ऑलवेज हेल्प अदर्स स्पेशली वेन द अदर पर्सन इज इन नीड ऑफ हेल्प जब तुम्हारे फ्रेंड्स तुम्हें हेल्प के लिए बोलते हैं वट शुड यू डू यू शुड हेल्प योर फ्रेंड्स वेन एवर यू हैव अ फ्रेंड एंड योर फ्रेंड नीड्स योर हेल्प you should come forward and you should help your friends the horse did not help the donkey horse ne nahi help kiya to kya hua the donkey fell down and he died agar wo help kar deta the donkey would have been alive to horse ko itna weight uthana hi nahi padta did you like the story quickly write in the chat box Did you like the story or not? So now what you'll do is, जो तो लिख सकते हैं the ones who know how to write, they will write down one instance when your help when you helped your friend. कभी आपके फ्रेंड को आपकी हेल्प की जरूरत थी और आपने हेल्प किया यू विल राइट इट डाउन एंड दंस हु के नॉट राइट जिनको अभी लिखना नहीं आता वो फोन पे रिकॉर्ड करके एंड सेंड इट टू मी एंड द बेस्ट स्टोरी सर्टिफिकेट लाइक साश्वत विल बी गेटिंग अ सर्टिफिकेट हिस्स स्टोरी वॉज द बेस्ट वाई वॉज हिस्स स्टोरी बेस्ट His story was best because उसने अपने आप लिखी थी स्टोरी अपने आप सोचा था एंड इट इज अ रिक्वेस्ट टू द पेरेंट्स प्लीज डू नॉट हेल्प देम अगर आप हेल्प करोगे तो उनकी क्रिएटिविटी सामने नहीं आएगी सो प्लीज लेट देम राइट देम सेल्फ दो लाइने भी लिखते हैं तो लेट देम राइट डू नॉट हेल्प देम टू लाइन्स थ्री लाइन्स फोर लाइन्स लेट देम राइट देम सेल्फ डोंट हेल्प देम एट ऑल वट हुज राइटिंग दिस Please don't write so much. So shall we start the other story? Yes, you want another story? Yes, Gurunanth, you can send today. Which one do you want to send, Gurunanth? 
अर्लियर वन क्रोकोडाइल वाली भेजनी है कि अभी वाली भेजनी है गुरंश स्टोरी डू यू वॉन्ट टू सेंड बोथ ओके यू कैन सेंड मी बोथ द स्टोरीज और भी किसी ने अगर क्रोकोडाइल वाली भेजनी है तो इस स्टोरी के साथ यू कैन सेंड द स्टोरी ओके क्रोकोडाइल वाली कौन सी स्टोरी थी द वन मिस द क्लास लास्ट टाइम इट वॉज to start from once i saw one day i saw a crocodile jeet you can also send you can send the crocodile story and you can also send a story wherein you helped your friend you help helped your friend or you helped your mother or you helped your father or your grandparents or your brother or your sister anyone okay and you have to send this story to 9779020050 where do you have to send i'll write down the number 9779020050 see in the chat box the number is written 9779 Zero two double zero five zero, and you will write the story. Your mama will not write the story. Your father will not write the story. You will write the story. Okay. and you will also give me the feedback as to how did you like this session did you like this session or did you not like this session you will send me your feedback so the next story is rooster raga this is about a rooster Ruru is a little rooster with many tunes in his head. Every time he opens his beak, he sings, "Kee kee crow, kee kee crow, coo 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 coo." He does not know how to say "cockerudu do" or "cockerudu kudu." He does not know how to say everything but "cockerudu kudu." The rooster's call. He tries and tries. but he cannot say he cannot say kukudu kuru tomorrow is rooster day ruru is so excited he hardly hold up his feathers oh i so want to crow well how do my other friends make their calls ruru wonders and sets out so he wants to know how does the other friends make their calls so he went he goes to the cow how do you do your moo he asks the cow what does he ask how do you moo what does the cow say moo so usko kya puchne gaya hai ki how do you moo how do you say moo hes what i tell my calf shake your head open your mouth and let out let out a long moo what did he say shake your head open your mouth how do you shake your head shake your head ah uh, shake your head open your mouth and say moo so ruru also shakes his head from side to side opens his beak and says kukumu what does ruru say he shakes his head opens his beak and says kukumu but mu kiski sound thi cow ki rooster ki to sound nahi thi then he goes to the donkey the donkey brays he goes to the donkey and he asks the donkey how do you do 
And the donkey says, stamp thrice on the ground, thup, 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 and let out a nice loud hee ha. What is the sound? Hee ha. Usne bola pao ko pehle zameen pe teen baar zor se maro, thup, thup, and then hee ha. Ruru clears off the hay, stamps thup, thup, thup. Opens his beak and he ha. So Ruru eyes. Pele Ruru re kiski sound try ki? Kao ki. Fir wo donkey ke paas kya. Fir usne kiski sound try ki? Donkey ki. Usne kao ki bhi try ki or donkey ki bhi ki. He yelps the cat who had been lounging in the sun. Ruru, goodness me. Stretch to the front and stretch to the back and let out a perfect meow. A cat knows ko kya sekaya? Meow. So Ruru also stretches his neck forward, tries to stretch it back, opens its beak and says, Meow. Peleus ne kao se kya sekha? Moo. Fir donkey se kya sikha? Donkey ne kya sikhaya tha usko? He, ha. And now the cat. What, is, what did the cat teach? Meow. Then he goes to the pig. E, e, e. Squeals the piglet in the pen. Woken up from the nap. They roll to the right. They roll to the left and they grunt the best grunts. So they taught Ruru how to grunt. So Ruru also runs to the side of the pond. He closes his eyes, steps into the mud, lies down, rolls around, squash, squish, squash, and opens his beak, cook, croon. So he learns how to grunt. The pigs grunt. And he also learns how to grunt. Then he moves further and he goes to meet the duck. The duck says, listen to a fellow bird, Ruru, and you will learn how to quack. Flap your wings, wiggle your bottom, Open your beak wide and quack. This should work, thinks Ruru. He flaps his wings, wiggles his bottom, opens his beak and says, quack. What does the duck say? Quack. Then he goes to the goat. Goat says, ma, ma. How do you say that? Ruru asked, deciding to give it a last try. Ruru, is that you? A flick on my tail, a hop and a skip, and I open my mouth to bleat ma. So he's learning from the goat now. He learning, he's learning from the goat. And Ruru flicks his tails, feathers, hops and skips, opens his beak and he says, Ma, but he does, still does not know how to say cock a doodle do. He cannot say cock a doodle do. Ruru hangs his head low and he is very sad now because he's learned so many sounds and still cannot say cock a doodle do. And he feels everybody will make fun of him. When he goes to meet his friends, they will make fun of him. He trudges back to the coop and sits down in the corner. Mama hens are clucking away, busy collecting eggs and grain into big heaps for the next day. Papa hens are strutting about, checking the plumes and combs. Young roosters with chest puffed up are practicing their crowing. Only Ruru sits alone and quiet. So Ruru 
he's sitting alone. Everybody is busy with their friends, but he's sitting alone. Why is he sitting alone? Because he feels he cannot say cock a doodle do. And all his friends will make fun of him. Everybody is together. See, only Ruru is sitting alone because he is feeling bad that he cannot make the sound. We've been looking for you, Ruru. You need to think for the rooster song for tomorrow. Ruru looks around in astonishment. Me? I can't even crow. How can I come up with the song? Oh, Ruru, we can all say cock a doodle too, but none of us can make up the wonderful tunes that you can. Each time you sing, it's different. So, what did his friends say? They said, Ki tere ko to kitni sari sounds aati hai. Tere ko cow ki sound aati hai, cat ki aati hai, donkey ki aati hai. You know so many sounds. And what we know is, just one sound, how to say cock a doodle do. So you are very special. That night, Ruru had the best sleep ever. He wakes up bright and early, flies onto the fence. His little head buzzing again with many tunes. This time, he opens his beak to sing and dance to a very special rooster raga. So what did he learn? He learned so many sounds. Rest of the roosters knew only one sound, cock a doodle do. And Ruru knew so many sounds. So his sound was called rooster raga because there were so many of them. You like the story? Yes or no? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. So now will you send me your story? Will you send me a story? So I'll wait for your story and I'll wait to see you on next Saturday. Okay? I'll see you next Saturday. And write, just write down the phone number again. Nine double seven nine zero two double zero five zero. Here is where you have to send your stories. If you can, if you can write the story, write it down. If you cannot write it down, record it and send it to me. You will write your story yourself. Your mama will not help you. पता लग जाएगा मुझे मामा की स्टोरी कौन सी है जिसने जिसने स्टोरी भेजी है जिसमें मामा ने हेल्प की है वो स्टोरी में मैंने कुछ नहीं देखा मामा नहीं हेल्प करेंगी वन राइट वन लाइन राइट टू लाइन राइट थ्री लाइन राइट इट योर सेल्फ थिंक अबाउट इट ओके कब तुमने अपनी फ्रेंड की हेल्प की थी मामा की हेल्प की हो पापा की हेल्प की हो किसी की भी हेल्प की हो जस्ट राइट अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी टू लाइन थ्री लाइन फोर लाइन बड़ी नहीं लिखी जाती मत लिखो स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक होती है कोई बात नहीं होने दो इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू राइट द स्पेलिंग ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड यू कैन आस्क मम्मा एंड इफ यू डोंट वांट टू आस्क हर डोंट आस्क हर गलत स्पेलिंग भी चलेंगे बट थिंक ऑफ अ स्टोरी राइट इट डाउन और यू रिकॉर्ड द स्टोरी एंड यू सेंड इट टू मी ओके एंड शाश्वत लास्ट टाइम योर स्टोरी वॉज द बेस्ट सो यू विल बी गेटिंग अ सर्टिफिकेट Okay. See you all next Saturday. Right? Bye. So you can leave the meeting now. Okay?